Okay, I'm back, and this is gonna be a pretty quick video updating about the Apple MagSafe battery pack because Apple have released a new firmware version that'll allow the battery pack to charge the iPhone at a higher wattage. So currently, the battery pack charges at five watts, and with the new firmware version, it'll charge at seven and a half watts. So you can see what firmware version you're on by connecting it to your iPhone. I have it here on my iPhone 13 mini. And going into the settings, general, about, and then if you swipe down when the battery pack is connected, you'll see that there is an option for the battery pack. So if you select it, it'll tell you what firmware version you're on. You're on. And you can see here that I'm on firm firmware version 2.5 dot b dot o and the latest version is 2.7 dot b dot o so let's go ahead and see how i can go ahead and upgrade that battery pack to the latest firmware version okay so like i said you need two things well three things you can either uh, keep it plugged onto your phone uh, and just use it as usual and over time the phone will push the upgrade to the battery pack or we can trigger an upgrade automatically by either plugging it in via the Lightning to USB-C cable to the MacBook Pro, which is what I'm gonna do, or using an iPad. So let's go ahead and try it with the MacBook Pro. Okay, so I have my Lightning cable plugged in, I've got my battery pack, and I have my MacBook opened with System Information, which is an app that'll show you your system stats. I have it selected to USB, which is where it should show me the firmware version, and it should match. So let me plug in the MagSafe battery pack and nothing's coming up but net command r to refresh and still nothing has come up so let's see hmm. well i haven't plugged in let me try this Okay, so I have my USB-C cable. I have it plugged into the Apple MagSafe battery pack. I have system information open on my Mac, which I thought might show me the firmware version of the battery pack under USB, but I don't see anything there. But that being said, I can attach it to my phone. Let me unlock, and let's try going to battery pack again. So here it comes up. And actually, wow, there it is, 2.7.b.0. So it's already updated to the latest version and that literally took like a minute. I just only had it plugged in for a minute to my MacBook and I was fiddling around to see if I can find the former version under system information and I couldn't. So as you saw, I just plugged it in and now that's it. That is the latest firmware version. So if I unplug that, now the charging speed, it's supposed to be seven and a half watts. So it's as simple as that. Um, pretty easy, pretty easy to do. And it's pretty cool, I think, that you can also upgrade the firmware of the battery pack with your iPad as well. Some of, you know, some people might not have a MacBook out there. So that was it for a quick and easy upgrade. So I'm kind of looking forward to see how that changes using the battery pack with the iPhones, especially with the iPhone mini. Um, I found that the battery pack works, works best just attaching it at the beginning of your day when you're expecting that you're gonna have a long day of using it because it doesn't charge while using the phone, you know, because of heat concern and things like that. So it'll be interesting to see how it works now, uh, charging faster at seven and a half watts. So pretty exciting if you ask me to get a uh, significant upgrade, upgrade in my opinion in the life of a product a few months in. So that's it, hope that helps some of you out there. Thanks for watching.